today we will learn about estimation and approximation usually we get the count of the objects by counting them one by one similarly in some cases we get the count by applying some method the numbers that can be found by counting or by applying some method are called exact numbers in certain cases we can't find the exact number in such cases we simply do the rough estimation to find the number for example number of visiting guests essential seeds for sowing the field and sowing time etc the rough guess of any number is called estimation how many marks you will get in the examination is also called estimation think about it you got it right on thinking you would have understood that the marks you will get in the examination is also estimation similarly in our daily life we use round off figures instead of the actual numbers for example even though you arrive home at 3 minutes past 9 you will mention it as 9 in case you have to tell somebody if the distance between a city and a village is 2 kilometers and 115 meters you will mention it as 2 kilometers the way of expressing a number to its nearest number is called approximation can you give some more examples think let's see how approximation is done we will understand it by the estimation to nearest tens focus on the last digit if this number is among any number from 1 to 4 let us say 2 in this case then this number will be closer to 0 than 10 therefore estimate the number by writing 0 in its place if this number is among any number from 6 to 9 let us say 8 in this case then this number will be closer to 10 than 0 therefore we will place 0 in its place and we will increase the value of tens digit by 1 similarly if the last digit is 5 as in 15 then the given number is estimated to the next ten this means placing 0 at once and increasing the values of tens by 1 today we have learned estimation and approximation in the next video we will learn it better with some more examples